Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I am your host and guide, Zelda Iron Shield. And today, my friends, we're going to do another Lotro guide. And on this today one, we're going to do communication in Lotro. So I'm going to cover three things in this video. I will have timestamps down below so you won't get bored and you can jump to what you need. We're going to talk about the mailbox right here behind us. We're going to talk about the chat box, which is the communication system in Lord of the Rings Online. And, um,. We'll talk a little bit at the end about emotes, right? For fun. That's fun communication. But anyway, the first two important ones, the mailbox. We're going to go over the mailbox real fast. Again, I'll have timestamps down there. If I do earn it and this does help you, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, next episode will be up there top left. Someone just parked a goat in front of me. Wow. How rude. And then... <laughs> A lot of gold on that goat. Um, and then, uh, yes, don't forget to check out those things. And I got links in the descriptions. So anyway, let's continue right now, my friends. I hope you're having a wonderful day in Middle Earth. And get straight to the point here. The mailbox. Communication's really, really important in any game, right? Especially MMOs or massive multiplayer online platforms. Um, so communication is really good to know about and how to communicate, all right? Again, if you ever want to talk to me, you can also use the mailbox to message me if you are on the server, Crick Hollow. So it does matter if you're on the same server for mail and communication with the mailbox. Think of it like email or texting, right? similar to that in this game right with the mailbox so you can either right click on a mailbox that you find if you're not if you're a normal player or if you are a vip you can go to the social pan um panel right here with o and then go to the mailbox right here okay so either one opens up this little thing called the mail right your mail so again i'm going to right click on the mailbox here now there are two different buttons you get um you will need to know this if you watched my video on the auction hall it also whenever you sell an item this is a little side note whenever you sell an item in the auction hall or um, buy an item in the auction hall it'll come into your mailbox okay or if an item does not sell it will be sent back to your mailbox from the auction hall okay so that's a good thing to know too we'll, we'll talk about now how to use the mailbox okay side note about the auction hall composing mail right all right it's just like a text okay you say compose you bring this up the person you want to send it to you need their exact name again if i start typing names it's going to type a bunch of different names it's guessing, right? A lot of names that are my characters or other people on the server, it's guessing who I'm gonna send this mail to, right? So anyway, I'm gonna send this mail to myself. So I think it'll I think it let me do that. So anyway, I'm gonna send it to myself, to Zolan. And then I'm gonna say the subject. You always have to have a simple subject, right? Um, it's a test, all right? So I'm just gonna put test. You can say kinship mail. That basically means if you, set, if you click the kinship button, if I do a subject and I put a letter here, what's gonna happen is it's going to mail the same thing to everyone that's in your kinship, okay? So that's what the kinship mail button means, all right? It's gonna send everyone your kinship, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna send it straight to me, to Zolan. So if you're a leader of your kinship and you wanna let people know, that's a good button. It's just kind of a mass, you know, include everyone in the kinship letter, okay? So test, I'm gonna say, uh, you know, testing for Right, it's just just like composing a re regular text or email, guys. Testing for video, right? That's what we're doing. We're testing this for video. Now, what ha it does cost a slight bit of in um, in game money, which is right here. It says postage, fifty copper coins. It's nothing. It's cheap. Okay. Now, if you're gonna drop an item in there, so let's say I want to send an item to myself, right? So let's bring up the item box, and something it. It cannot be bound to you, right? This is something good, right? For communication of sending something. If it's bound to Zolan or bound to your account, you will not be able to mail it. You'll have to put it in the shared storage if you want to give it to someone else on your account, if it's bound to your account. And you won't be able to even do that if it's bound to your character. I have a whole thing on items and that, but we're not worried about that right now. We are sending, let's say I want to send, um, these are all bound to account. Need an item to send, uh, bound to, okay, well. Here we go. We're gonna send these seven jade gemstones, okay? So I'm gonna drag these, I'm gonna drop them into attachments. Now, if you notice, it did go up in price. It went up to 15 silver, okay? So this is something you do need to remember, all right? So if you're gonna, I have a whole thing on items if you wanna know how I'm splitting all this stuff and things, but little tricks. So you drop three gems in there, see it went into seven silver, okay? So it does matter the price, right? How much it's gonna cost to send items. But if you're sending just a letter for communication, it is only gonna cost you 50 copper. All right, again, I'm gonna not do any items. And the music is epic here, but it's so loud that I think it's going to bother us for the video. So we're going to stop doing that right now. If you pop off, little, little test here for you guys so you know, if you top off, it will, without sending, it will erase everything. So 
make sure you're done and you going to send your stuff. So again, testing. And I'm going to go ahead and click send for 50 silver. You cannot send it to yourself. That's okay, though. We're going to send it to my friend Zarlin here, which is my other character. So I'm going to say send. Right, so I sent him a letter. So now if I go on Zarlin, I will be able to show you right now. Ready? Okay, so what I did was I went on Zarlin, and I replied and sent a message back. So now we can see what it looks like from the other end. So then you have a mail, piece of mail, right? And it will give you a little alert. So, for example, I'll show my alerts here for you guys. Um, see how you get a little alert? And then you bring up here, and it's like, oh, new mail. If you are not a VIP, if you click it, it's going to say, go find a mailbox. So you're going to have to go to an actual mailbox. And there is a mailbox at your personal house. If you just have own one of the regular houses, there will be a mailbox at your house. So that's a good little trick. You can use your little port back to go get mail. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and click this now, the alert there. And now here is what the reply will look like. Again, from Zarlin, my other character, to me, right? Subject, he was testing back. Hi, Zolan, right? I said back to myself, okay? Again, you can see the date and time, right? And then if you want, you can click reply. I can go reply, it'll automatically put in re, so subject, testing back, the original subject, meaning getting a reply, right? Just like an email, right? Back to Zarlan automatically, and I could say hi again, right? And I can send that back to him, 50 copper, right? So I replied. And then you can just close this and leave that in there if you wanna leave it for later and it won't keep showing the alert, or you could just get rid of it and delete it, okay? So that is basically how to compose a message. De uh, delete all mail, that's a button you could do to delete everything. Unless you have a massive spam of mail, which is very unusual for this game because you'd have to have real people sending you that. Um, there's no spam in this. <laughs> that would be interesting indeed. But again, this is a good way to get in contact with me. If you're on Crick Hollow and you want to send a message directly to Zolan, or you want to send it to Voice of the Rings, our other character in Ledger Tale, to join the Voice of the Rings kinship through that character, you can send a mail and say, hey, I'd like to join the Voice of the Rings kinship. I will invite you. You're one of my subscribers. You don't have to be a Patreon. You don't, that's fine. You, I will, you are welcome to join. Everyone is welcome to join on Crick Hollow. I want to have as much communication as I can with you guys for fun. Um, and I can help. So anyway, there we go. That is that first part. Now we're gonna hop into, now you know how to use the mail. You'll need that for the auction hall and how to communicate with your friends and send messages to me if you'd like to con contact me through the game. Again, you have to be on the same server. That is important. So now we did good. We did that in about five minutes-ish. So now let's move on to the chat box. Again, I do have, I will have links down there to hop around for our timestamps for you guys in the script subscription. All right, let's bring up the chat box here real quick. And before you guys get confused and really like what is going on with the chat box, okay? Don't freak out. Um, I have a lot of stuff because I do a lot of different things. But you're gonna have general and you'll have um, probably one other one like fellowship, combat, and like the IM tab, okay? You'll have a couple different tabs. So we're gonna first talk about, um, I mean, it's real simple how to communicate, right? You just need to be able to click it with your mouse or whatever, type in hi, or whatever, enter. Just like you're typing, right? Everyone knows how to do that, I, I would assume, right? But just real quick, telling you that. Um, next thing you need to know, right? That's the real basics. Let's talk about the chat bubble in the bottom left here. This is really important for new players and a lot of people just to know right the right channel you're communicating in, okay? The right channel. So tabs will be these things on the top, right? Um, the reason I don't want to use those as channels is because there's a very you can change tabs. Tabs are more for your convenience of organizing how you want to communicate. Okay, the one the right channel is the bubble right here next to say this little white bubble. It's real tiny. You left click it with your mouse and you're gonna bring up this thing here. So it's gonna have some real quick ones. It's gonna have say fellowship and kinship. Okay, so what that means is when you're in a fellowship, which means six people, right? If you click this one, you will now be talking in the fellowship chat. It won't work for me right now because it says you are not in the fellowship. See right there, it popped up. But when I'm in a fellowship, that's how you communicate with those six people, okay? If you say, say, say will communicate to anyone in your vicinity, meaning anyone standing in this room will be able to see hi, right, from a certain distance. Basically, it's just standing on a, you know, a soapbox and yelling, right? Everyone is going to be able to hear you, okay? So... That's what say is, fellowship, you know. Kinship, what is kinship? Well, kinship is if you are in a kinship, which is a guild in Lord of the Rings Online, right? I li I've always thought of it as kinship, but again, it's because I played it more when I was younger. Um, I just like to say that for my friends who are coming from World of Warcraft and other games. <laughs> um, but yeah, 
If you're in a kinship, it, basically anyone who's online in your kinship will be able to read this if they are, uh, you know, have it on their tab on their channel, right? When you say hello. So, hi. Right? Anyone in your kinship is going to be able to see that. Again, I have a whole thing on UI with coloring of things. I might do a quick little thing at the end here about the different colors. You can change colors if you want. There's generic colors. I would leave the generic colors if possible, like blue is kinship, green is fellowship. It, you get used to it. White is kind of like generic, but you can change sizes of things and stuff. But now, let's go to the next one. Output channels, okay? So output channels are basically all the other channels that they don't put here, right? Say fellowship, kinship, those are real generic ones you use a lot. The output channels are going to be um, different things. So there's gonna be one called for emote. We'll save that one for emotes at the end of the video for fun. Um, looking for fellowship. This is a world type chat. That means when you type in looking for fellowship, when you when you click this, it'll basically advertise that to the entire world, okay? So that's one thing. And it basically means LFF, looking for fellowship, looking for a group, looking for something to do. A lot of times people, for example, this guy right here wrote something just a second ago. Now recruiting all lore masters for this particular raid or instance. A lot of people abbreviate things. You will have to learn the abbreviations over time. I know some of them. I don't know them all off the top of my head, but that's why I wouldn't, I'm not gonna say it. Tier one, he's saying certain instance level, two out of six, meaning it's a six man instance, right? Or dungeon for my, other MMO players who are joining the game. We call it instances in Lord of the Rings Online because it's just like a story. Um, and then leaderboard. So this is something that rarely anyone uses. I believe, again, it's a world chat one, but um, a lot of people don't use that one as much. Uh, I th Actually, you know what? I'm trying to think right now. If I do type this. Hi. Uh, you know what? That might actually be a special thing for another event thing. Don't worry about that one. It's not a really important one. No one ever uses it anyway. OCC. Oh, oh, so um, excuse me. OOC. Some people use this. Uh, usually it was used a lot in the PvP zone, the monster player zone. A lot of people like to use that. I believe it was because it was um, usually nice for that. Um, the thing is with this one is I believe it is just in the area you are in. The region. I believe the OCC one is just for the region. I haven't used it in a long time. People don't use this one a lot either, but for your own communication, I believe, for example, only people in the Gundabad area would be able to see that one, which is why I believe it was used in the monster play a lot because it was good for like a global chat in monster play, but um, it was only in the region then. All right, the PvP zone. Uh, officer chat. This is a special chat that's for your kinship, and it's just if you're an officer level, you'll be able to see this, right? Certain rank. It's not really that important unless you have a big kinship and there's a couple of you want to talk privately as officers that's what that one is good for but you could also be in a fellowship to do that right um rp i think this is like a role play right this is for fun so people know if your people are role playing right with different things like you know i'm a dwarf blah 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 you know that's what that one's for right you, you kind of get it right again these are channels right channels communicated uh raid this one works if you are in a raid. So basically, there is a difference between a fellowship and a raid. A uh, raid is when you're in a fellowship, you right-click on as a leader and you convert to raid. You can now have 24 people in the group. Raid means everyone can, can communicate in those 24 people, right? Again, I turned it green. It's not usually green because I can show you that at the end of the video. A regional, this is one again, like the OOC, which I, I'm trying to believe, remember if the OOC is a global or not. It might be global, it might be regional. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Um, I will, I might I might link it for you guys in the description there if you wanna check it out. The wiki, the literature wiki has wonderful information about stuff like that. Stuff that no one really cares about. <laughs> you guys just wanna know about the basic stuff here. Uh, regional. Trade is a world chat. Regional is obviously just in a region. I, I, I feel like they got off the top of my head the OCC is the whole world. But um, anyway, that doesn't matter. We're gonna move on. Um, trade is a world chat. Basically, you, you do that and you can say, I want to trade this item. I'm selling this item. It just lets people know, basically. It puts a little thing before so people know, oh, looking for fellowship. And again, I will show you in a minute in tabs how you can filter and change these things for communication. So you don't just have mass everything in your chat, right? Your general chat and you're just like, I don't know what how to communicate because there's everything's being thrown at me, okay? So we'll talk about that. So again, then we are going to go into user chats. World chat is at the very bottom. This is a very 
used one, right? Someone just wants to ask a question. If you're a new player and you want to ask the community of Lotro in your in your uh, server a new question, again, you can always send a message to me. I'd be happy to answer in game, right? Um, but if you ask people this or just have a simple thing or something, any other thing that those other ones don't apply with, World Chat's the one to do, right? And again, you can see people talking right here in World Chat, right? Um, so now we're gonna go over, and then there's these user channels. These are a very specific thing. Um, we're gonna not do that in this video, okay? We're not gonna do user channels in this video. If you'd like another video, I, I might have, a, I think I might have a guide video already on user channels. I think it's actually, I think I do. I think I already talked about it in my chat. I have a chat video from about a year ago, but I wanted an updated one for you guys because I'm a little better at being more precise now. So, um, so you guys can, and I'm gonna have timestamps for you as well. Uh, so don't worry about that. That's a special thing. You can make your own private special channels with that. It takes a certain command. Um, it's one way I make my Patreon thing at the end for you guys. This one right here, boop, right? That's one way I do that at the end, okay? So anyway, I will show you guys that and, and help you guys out with that. So let's go ahead and then pop over to the, uh, we are now gonna go to tabs. All right, we're gonna talk about the tabs. And so you don't get, don't get confused. First thing, thing I'm gonna talk about is the filters on the tabs, okay? Filters on the tabs. Again, I will have times, I mean, timestamps down there for you guys to under follow this. Filters on the tab. If you right click on general, okay? General is your main tab, all right? It's a little different than the other ones. For example, real quick, you can pull this tab. Like if I grab one of these other ones and pull, hold left click and pull and drag, it'll actually drop that box in a separate area. But your general one will always be stuck to your main thing that has your typing in it, right? Again, you won't be able to type in these, right? But you can have separate boxes. And if you switch what you're typing in, like Kinship, for example, hi, and you notice it popped up in my general and it popped up in my Kinship tab. And I'm gonna show you exactly why and how, and you see if I drag and drop these back, they they stick back in there, right? Again, if you click the tabs, it switches through them, right? You can switch through them. But again, here's what I need. This is really important, right? If you right click on general, a couple things pop up, right? It's real small, so I'll read it for you. There's rename tab. Don't do that for general. Don't rename the tab. Uh, change filters. This is the big one. This is the filter one I want to talk about, okay? Filters. Uh, change text colors, so this could be very important to help you out, and then chat logging, start logging, capture chat. All right, that's another little thing which I never use, but some people might use, right? You can capture information and stuff. Um, but anyway, let's talk about changing filters. This is super important, okay? So we're gonna go through what are all the different filters, and this is very important. Okay, so for example, general my general chat has most things checked. Checked means you will see it in that that tab, all right? Again, the tabs are at the top, right? right? The, these are all the tabs, right, at the top here. Do all these little tabs. Um, so the change filters, let's go through the filters real quick. Advancement, that is basically showing you something you just achieved or completed, right? It could be a couple different things for your character. So leave that checked, you know, you oh, you leveled up, that kind of thing. It'll say it in the chat. Um, combat enemy, I would leave a lot of these combat events on a, the combat tab only. I would take them off general because when you're fighting, you're gonna be seeing information about that fighting. Like you took 564 damage, blah, blah, blah. That'll get really messy and really confusing real quick. So I would uncheck that combat player, combat enemy, which means stuff that happens to your enemy happens to you, okay? Combat event, that can usually mean like in the Entomores, the PvP zone, someone takes a location, that kind of thing. I leave that checked in general because it's nice to know. Emotes, I like to see the emotes in general. Um, that's basically, we'll talk about emotes at the end, whether you can see them or not see them in the chat telling you what is someone's doing, like waving at you, okay, etc. Um, errors, I leave it on because rarely do you see an error, but if you do see an error or something happens, you want to kind of see it in the general chat. What did it just say? What happened? right you know the game will tell you oh error you know this happened right something didn't load or something event broadcast um event broadcast is achievement is your thing a event broadcast is kind of like combat event but it's usually that's the one you see in pvp zone i take it back the combat event one's a little different but it's very rare the combat event one so i like to leave it on general fellowship I leave it on the general chat. Kinship, I leave it on the general chat. That means if people talk to either of those, I will see them in the general tab. If I uncheck this and someone talks in the fellowship chat, we're in a six man, I will not see it in the general tab, okay? That's why the filters are important. 
right? This is how you clean up and organize things. And then I'm gonna show you how to make other tabs that you can make special ones for certain things, right? We'll talk about that in a second. You can jump the timestamp if you want to. Um, kinship, fellowship, uh, looking for fellowship. This is important one. I like to leave it on general. Leaderboards, that's another one that's like, you could put it on and off if you want. I could, no one rarely ever uses that. Uh, loot, loot self, loot fellowship, what you've earned, what your fellowship's earned in an instance or whatever. I leave that on general. That's fine. Uh, again, the OC, I leave it on general. Officer chat, leave it on general. I leave a lot of stuff on general that isn't used very much because if it does get used, I usually am on this tab. So at least I'll see it if someone messages me in that. Um, very unusual. Uh, so you can just leave them on. Quest, that's when you finish a quest or pick something up or something. I leave it on general chat. RP, again, that's the role playing fun ch channel. Raid, if you're in a raid, I leave it on the general chat. Regional, again, if you're in the area. Say, of course, leave that on general, right? That's the one where it's just if people just talk around you normal. Uh, standard, this one is kind of like, okay. It's another, like, I would just leave it checked. I actually don't even, if anyone knows off the top of your head what that means, it's probably some random stand, standard thing. I don't know. I'm not sure what that one is off the top of my head. I've never used that one. It's not a, ch it's not a channel, so um, it's probably some event or thing that happens in the game. Tell. So tell is a direct IM message or, you know, directly messaging you, right? We're going to talk about the IMs in a minute, but that one I would leave on general. Okay. So that's if someone dings you and sends a message to you that will appear. Um, that's very important. That's like say or fellowship or kinship. Those are very important. Tell, kinship, fellowship, and say. Those are all very important channels to have on your thing. Trade. Again, so much trading. I will leave it on general because I want to know about it. User chats. Those are great. I use those again to make my Patreon thing at the end, like I showed you. But um, they're personal, specialized channels. You don't really need to worry about those. Not for right now. I might have a special video on that if you guys want that. And then, of course, I leave World Chat checked on. Okay, so that's how filters work. That's important. Now you can say change color text. Basically, what this does is it brings you to the UI settings in, in, in options. So you can click Escape, go to Options, go to UI, go down to Chat drag all the way down here to the bottom. And again, this is where you can, this is very important. We need to talk about this real quick. This is where you can scale up word, letters and words if things are too big. So for example, see how the word chat, world chat's real small. Again, I'm playing on a 2K screen. <coughs> so could be good if I went over here, down, scroll down to world chat at the very bottom. And I say, you know what? I want to make world chat uh, 20 pixels. So I'm going to apply that. So now it's not going to change it immediately, but if anyone types in world chat now, It'll look bigger. Okay, so for example, I'm gonna just type hi. See how much bigger it is than it was a second ago right above it? See how it's a lot scaled up right there? So that's how you could scale up all your chat if you wanna scale up all your chat like we would with quests, right? For communication, this is good for people who need better to see it, see it better. And again, if you're on a big screen like me playing on 2K, you might need to scale up your chats. Again, too, if you, that's, so again, that's a nice little fast way general change text color. And if you want to change the colors of your stuff, it's real simple, right? You just go to whatever one you want to change. For example, if I want to change combat enemy, uh, or let's say I want to change trade to, you know, to gold, yellowish, right? I just do boop, just kind of click where, wherever you want. If you see my mouse, I'm clicking right on the gold there, anywhere on the color you want. So I want trade to look like that and then apply, right? So now if I want to trade, I can go into the trade tab right there, right? So see how I changed the bubble. I changed which one I'm in. And I'm, it's gold now, and I can say hi. And see, now it's like a gold color. So now I know that's trading. So that's a good way to organize your colors. So now that you know how to change your colors, now let's go on the next part. Let's talk about the tabs on the top, okay? So what if you want a new tab, okay? So just right click on general. Re a rename tab is not what you want to do. Um, I'm trying to, uh, hold on. Brain is turning. All right, I know what happened. I was at my limit of tabs. So you can have a total of, besides general, you can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other tabs and IMs, which are, I believe, permanent. You cannot delete. Yes. So IMs in general are permanent tabs. The rest of these I could change and delete if I wanted to. But basically, now that I got rid of one extra tab, I had a double of my Patreon tab. So I have another one to use now. So I'm going to right click on general. And now look, there's a new option, right? Create new tab. So go ahead and create your new tab. It's gonna pop up and just say tab, 
all right so now you can right click on that tab and here's what you do to customize it right so this is a real quick run through i'm not gonna go through all these tabs because that would be a waste of your time um let's try this one okay so i'm gonna rename this tab i'm gonna name this tab as um like fellowship and you could do slash kinship right so this is gonna be for my kinship and my fellowship communication right so there it is right now you have a new tab now you're gonna click that there's nothing in it by the way transparency i have my transparency of my tab on nothing so if you go into here by the way again if you go in your options there's the transparency window so you can do it where there's nothing behind it if you want i hide the trans the, my tab in the background so i like to have it dark because it's easier for me to read for you guys and then i hide it behind my my video camera for you guys but um anyway that's not important so now let's go into this let's right click on it again now that we've renamed it now you can delete the tab if you want it. you can again those two other settings capture stuff and text we're not going to talk about that logging that's just it, it will start capturing things but that's it's very unneeded um, so now let's go into filters. So when we hover filters, you can see that only a few things are automatically checked. Okay. There is regional and event broadcast. Well, I don't need really either of those in this tab. So I'm going to uncheck them both. So now what do we want? What do we want in the fellowship and kin chat? All right. So for me, I would want to have kinship and fellowship checked because that's what it's for. I would probably also put say into this chat and maybe you could put tells, which are your IMs, you know, something like that. Or unless you want to keep it real strict and just fellowship and kinship, go ahead. But I usually leave say on because if someone says something next to me, I want to be able to see it real quick, right? I don't want to have to flip to general tab or some other tab for that. Unless you want to have a whole separate tab for your say, that's up to you. So again, that's how you would change the filters. And now if anyone talks in kinship chat, for example, let me type kinship chat. By the way, each tab will ch hold on to whatever bubble is selected for your thing. So if you notice, see how it's on the kinship already bubble. If I go to fellowship, it's on the say. I'm gonna leave it on fellowship. Now if I look back and forth, fellowship, general, still in trade, right? So, but let me switch this to kinship and just say hi. So now you can see it there. If I go to fellowship, you can also see it because obviously I have it on my fellowship. But now let's go to the fellowship kinship one we just made for us, right? Oh, there it is. Hi, look at that. It, it showed up, right? So it's the filter. Again, it matters when you do it. If you select a filter after someone's already said something, you won't see it. Okay? That's an important thing to remember. It, it's real specific on... It has to be on right when someone types and pushes enter, and then it'll be sent to you. If it's not on the filter, and then you turn it on, you're not going to see someone's message previously sent. Okay? So you're going to have to go to another tab that had that, and if you didn't have any of them filter for that, it's like, uh-oh, well, you missed it. Right? That's just how it goes. But again, that's why I leave general on pretty much everything because you can always jump to general if you mess something up with another tab to find what someone said. Just you don't want to filter through all of these events and stuff and things going on in the world, right? So again, good to know. And again, combat, as you can see here, this is why I leave everything on combat filtered by itself. And if I hover it, look, see, it's only the combat things I have checked here. Because you notice if I go back through it, it says all this information about you've been healed by this person, you did this much damage, you defeated this creature, blah, 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 blah. Okay. That's why I leave that all in its own thing, combat. It's good to know sometimes if you want to know details of what happened in a fight, but that will fill up real that will fill up your general chat so fast. So I really recommend you guys change that if you need to. Um Yeah. So there you go, guys. And again, I have a little thing here that is showing emotes and stuff. Uh, but now we're going to hop over to emotes. So now you know how to use the tabs. You know how to create all that, right? So we've done a lot. We've done a lot in this video. So those are the first two things. We've done the communication of Lotro. Now let's talk about real quick emotes for fun. This is just fun stuff. This will be five minutes. So emotes are a really fun little general extra thing in the game to kind of express yourself as a character. For example, like, you know, sword slip. So there's a couple different ways you can use emotes, okay? <laughs> I might have a separate video on emotes too. But really quick for you guys, if you go to the chat bubble at the bottom here on any of the things, go down to the bottom one below output channel. If you go to the one that says emotes, this will show you every emote your character knows and can use for the, the command. So for example, let's just use one as a generic one, laugh, right? Okay, so if I click that, it says my character laughs. It says you laughed, right? I'm gonna go to music theory because I have that one selected as emotes here. Again, if I go into filters of this one, as you can see, all I have selected here are emotes. That's all I have on the music theory one right now, right? This is a little tab I was using for my other part of my channel. But um, 
emotes, right? So again, you can see all these emotes I've used recently saying hi to friends and waving at people and stuff. But now let's say, so now what if I want to instead, you could do forward slash instead of looking through that thing, laugh, enter. That's another way to use the emote, right? And now another good way to find emotes if you want to know about your emotes is you go into this little, the little thing down here, go into collections or shift C, the letter C as in cat, and you, you basically, you can find your pets here, you can find your mounts here, and you can find the emotes you know here. All right, so these are all the emotes you can basically use and ones you've earned. A lot of the gold ones are earned ones. And basically, these are ones you can actually drag and drop onto your bar to use instead of doing slashy emote. So again, now you know how to use it, right? So two things, or three things, right? You know how to see the things, right? You have to have a filter on emotes to see what emote someone used. You can hear it always, usually if you have the sounds on, right? Um, and then you could also use the icons or you could do slash, slash the emote, or you could click on the bubble and go down and use the emotes from here, right? That's another way, but this is a little bit harder. I would almost recommend if you have free slots, again, it takes up your slots for your skills, but if you have ones to use as your emotes, again, if you need an extra one for emotes, there's always this up and down arrow right here. You could like, uh, you know, switch over to one of these and make it your emote one. But again, this is my more tinky one. I just don't use it very often. All right, so there you go. There is emotes. Again, you have some stuff you filters here to look through emotes. I'll make a video on the emotes for you guys so you can kind of understand this more. But again, if you just click on these, uh, right click on these, it'll activate even in here or you can drag them and drop onto your thing, right? So, <laughs> SOS, you get it? Because now you're like a quest bearer. I think that's hilarious. I love that one. You basically click on it, you turn into an NPC with a quest. That's pretty cool. Um, anyway, and then I got some other fun ones like the horn, which is down here on my thing, right? And you can see me, you sound the trumpet. And some can glitch out. You can move while you do it, which is kind of fun too. Like for example, this one, I like doing this when I... Got some good sound effects though. Some of them are really good sound effects. It's pretty cool, huh? Uh, anyway, it's really fun, very expressive. I really like all the emotes. They have literally hundreds. Like the Palantir is looking into the stone, the seeing stone, right? Again, that, those are earned ones, right? These are the special ones I've earned. So you won't be able to do these right off the bat, but you can earn these over time. I don't remember where I got these these ones right now, so sorry. Um, in the future, I will show you guys more. But anyway, you guys, and by the way, if you notice with the chat bubble, if you grab this little thing in the bottom right, you can kind of stretch it and move it around, right? Fit it to where you want to fit it. And then if you left click on general, you can move the whole tab without pulling off the other ones, okay? And then you can move it wherever you want on the screen, which again, I'm going to hide it back behind my thing here. Whoop. All right. Well, my friends, I hope that helped you guys out with communication in Lotro. We did that in about 30 minutes. So yes, wonderful. Again, I will have timestamps for you, which take a lot of work. So if I earned it, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Please leave comments if you have questions. I'd love to answer them. Subscribe button is going to be right there. Next episode will be up there in top left and my fun content over there. Literal tale. Check them all out, and I'll see you in the next episode of Voice of the Rings. And thank you so much to my wonderful Patreons. You guys are awesome. I appreciate the help. We have a fun Discord, guys, if you want to check out that stuff, too. And I got links to Twitter and Facebook down there, things, too. All right, see you guys in the next episode of Voice of the Rings.